Berardelli, professional basketball player. And my next tip is defense. And not just any defense, defending the three-point shot. I got two helpers here helping me today, David and Martin. So we're gonna get started on how to defend the three. First up is gonna be David right here. David's gonna have the ball. Now as a defensive player in everywhere you start from, elementary, junior high, high school, every defender, when you're on the left side of the court, usually you put your right foot to force some baseline. Every coach teaches you to force baseline from, like I said, junior high all the way to the NBA. So when I'm guarding someone like David, I'm taller than David. So I can back up and get a little bit more space because when David goes up for a shot, my hand can contest it. Now, if I was smaller than David, that means the closer I'd have to be. But well, since I have about five to six inches on David, I can back up because he looks like he's pretty quick. So I want to respect the, the, his drive. So, when, so do your jab step. I'm still here defending it. Now go back to shoot a three and I'm putting my right hand to contest. A lot of players like to go with the left hand, but when he follows through, that's when you get a lot of fouls. So when I go to defend and he goes up for a shot, I use my right hand. Because once that shot goes up, shoot it, I then have my right hand up here to turn around to box them out. Now, if I went with the left hand to go and I shot, let me see that ball, Martin. Now, if I gave the ball to David and I shot with my left hand to contest the shot, after he shot it, he can go in for the offensive rebound. So this is key to staying with your defenders. So we're gonna work on him going up and just me contesting the shot. So he's, he's smaller than me, so I'm gonna give him a little, get, little gap and then contesting a shot every time. The smaller you are, the closer you have to be. Now, Martin over here, come on, Martin. We're gonna use it on the left side of the court. Now, when Martin here has the ball, your left foot is gonna be up because you wanna force your man where? Baseline. So when you're at this court and I'm forcing him, he does a jab step, do a jab step there. I'm here to be able to react to his move, like we worked on in the other tip. So when he goes back to shoot, to jab, and he goes back to shoot a jump shot, I now can contest. Like I said before, the smaller you are, the closer you have to get on him to respect the shot. If I go too far back, shoot a shot. I can't contest the three. As you saw, he switched it. So, the key is having separation arm length. Being arm length with your, with your offensive player. I'm here, now I'm guarding him doing jab step, I can react. When he goes up for a shot, I'm here to contest. All right, so here he goes, full speed. Go shoot, shoot the ball. Boom, I was there to contest it. Thank you, thank you. 